Okay, so the first thing that we want to see is that this is a hundred. They got the hundred hundred anniversary, and right on the cover we got a new Triton D10. All right, looks like a new scan tool. They seem to just keep coming out with scan tools galore. Seems like yesterday the Zeus was the highest one. Not anymore. All right. So let's see what we got here. The super capable, super intuitive, super certain scan and scope tool. So that looks like a pretty, a pretty cool pattern right there. I mean, they're showing lots of colors and man, that looks pretty cool. I mean, if you're in, the, if you're in the market for a scan tool, um, you're not going to be buying a scan tool based on me looking at this catalog and telling you about it. So I'm going to skip that because that's like buying a toolbox. All right. So I actually just went on the tool truck and I saw this thing and this thing is massive. It's really big and just really, man, it looks scary. They didn't even have, I don't even remember him having a bit on there. It looks like they've got Got a little, I don't know if that's a chuck. Maybe that's a chuck because they didn't have anything on the one in the, on the truck either. So this thing is $455 and it looks like it's, they got some new battery system. Well, one I haven't seen, 18 volt. All right. So we got an 18 volt battery right there. All right. That's different than what I got. I'm used to the 14.4. So this thing works on 25,000 RPMs to handle big jobs. All right, that is a lot of money, man. If you do a lot of die grinding, that there's your there's your die grinder right there. I don't know. I'm good with my air tools, but you know maybe you're a a mobile guy, and maybe that is something that you need, something that you want. But uh, yeah, that's that's pretty big right there. All right, so here we go. We have an active cooling pocket light. The heck is that? Active thermal management keeps internal components cool. It's got a battery gauge and a dimmable down to 100 lumens. It works at 1,100 lumens in a compact package. Pretty cool. Pretty neat. I don't know if it's worth it. 130 bucks Doesn't really look like anything that I'd be interested in. Uh, but I'm sure somebody would find some, uh, some use in that. All right. So we have a collapsible magnetic dish. And this one looks like it has a lid on it. Oh, dual compartment magnetic dish. Yeah, I'm okay. I like those magnetic discs, man. Those magnetic dishes. I know Matco's got them and stuff like that, man. Those things are really cool. I, my One of my coworkers has a lot of them. Uh, and I think I've seen uh, Justin Dow with some. Those are, those are pretty cool. I don't really see any use for this one. But that one's 30 bucks if you're interested. It's got a dual compartment. Yep. All right, so let's move on. So here we go. Heavy duty diagnostics. All right. So this looks like we're going into the heavy duty stuff. Again, not something I'm going to go over. You are definitely not. I really hope you're not buying a scan tool based on me looking at this catalog. Now, if you would like me to talk about scan tools, I can do a video. Talk about scan tools, toolboxes, all kinds of stuff. But that's something you got to ask me for, and we can do that. All right, so now here we go. We are into the 14.4 lineup. Then these are the 14.4 uh, tools that I'm used to using. So right off the bat, we got a 3H drive cordless ratchet. This is a, it comes with the one battery, six inch long neck, long extended neck for great accessibility. Now I have this guy here. Uh, let's see. I have this one here. I have this 3 8 and I have the quarter. Let me tell you, two of my favorite cordless tools I own right there. So this one is 387 with one battery and 367 for the cordless one with one battery. All right, definitely worth it. I recommend that. If you don't have that, man, you are missing out. Let me tell you. All right. So now it looks like we have a right-hand drill. Um, that one looks pretty cool. A cordless. I don't have a cordless right-hand drill. I used to have a Craftsman a long time ago. So that one is a screw gun drill. 
tool only, no battery. 237 bucks. All right, there you go. If you're looking for a cordless drill, there it is, right there. Now let's move on. Now these guys, these guys look pretty cool right here. Long neck die grinder. And so we got a one horsepower long neck die grinder and a half a horsepower long neck die grinder. All right, still, and those are, okay, so those are air, air powered. All right, now those are, those are up my alley right there. I need some long necks, I think. Uh, I would probably, so the, the one horsepower is 335 and the half a horsepower is 310. I would, if I, I personally, I would spring for the one horsepower for like $25 more. Um, I think it'd be crazy to get the lower one for, uh, and I mean, it looks like with the neck, it looks like this one stays the same the same size. This one looks like it gets a little bit bigger right here. So this one actually, and this one, look, the body looks smaller. So this one actually looks like you could get in more places and be more efficient with the one horsepower. Uh, and then we're down here. And now this is an extended length uh, mini air die grinder, blue point. They don't say anything about it. Um, 232 and a right angle extended length mini air die grinder. Uh, now I like the right angle. Um, I actually need a, a, I actually, I, I need one of these and one of these. I need an extended length, uh, angle and I need a, an extended length, uh, regular die grinder. So, all right. And then there you go. If you have an idea, tell them about it. You could receive 3000 bucks. All right. Okay. So now here we are, man, there's a lot of cool stuff in here. I mean, I love these new test lights, how they're showing all these different colors. All right. So we have a multi-probe ultra. The heck is that? Features both circuit and digital multi-functions in one convenient handheld device. It tests AC and DC, resistance, amperage. So this is a power probe. Pretty much, kind of. So what it seems like. Kind of seems like Snap-on's version of a Power Probe. Uh, man, if I were you, buy a Power Probe. Buy a Power Probe 3. Not a Multi-Probe Ultra. Power Probe 3. You don't need any. I just did a video about Power Probes to tell you all about it. You only need a Power Probe 3, let me tell you. All right. 12-volt DC uh, digital display circuit tester. So this is, we got basically a test light with a... Um, with a multimeter, it's got a, well, not a multimeter, but it's going to tell you the uh, the voltage on it. And then it looks like, looks like there's a little mini one here. I'm not really saying anything about that. Uh, let's see. So they're talking about this guy here. The e, so maybe it's like you buy one, you get the next one for free. I don't really understand because it's two different part numbers. You got EECT4000 and this is 400BL. So they don't really say you buy one, you get the other one or anything like that. Uh, but so it looks like you can get different colors, red, green, black, uh, orange. I don't know. You'd inquire about that. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not interested in buying that. But if I was getting a test light, maybe I would get a test light that had a voltage reading in it. Uh, the one I have does not show voltage. Uh, so here we go. Now you work on big trucks. Here we go. 24 volt uh, digital display circuit tester. We're going to go 4 to 49 volt uh, DC. All right. So there you go. 130 bucks for that guy right there if you work on big trucks. I don't work on anything. 24 volt. Uh, okay. So here we go. 6 to 12 volt classic bulb style circuit tester. So 56 bucks. All right. So I got one similar to that. Mine's got like a, mine's got like a, a swirly cord. Uh, I'm not sure how much I paid for it. Uh, so same thing here, six to twelve volt. Uh, class is a heavy duty copper clip. Okay, so a different kind of clip. So this one here has got a smaller clip, and this one's got a big fat alligator clip. Uh, this one's a little bit cheaper. Um, oh, now here we go. Here we go. Cord free. Now, this guy right here, this 3-volt, 24, this guy right here, you want to buy this one. This one's actually a really cool tester right here. You hold this in your hand, you touch this to, to positive, to battery, whatever, and you touch ground, 
and it will light up and it will make noise if there is voltage. Pretty cool thing right there. Do that, test it. I know in my text talking shop, one mechanic did a, did a video on this right here. He talks about how he uses it on trailers and it helps to eliminate a lot of troubleshooting. You can know if the problem's at the back or at the front. Um, pretty cool. Go check that out. Text talking shop. Uh, so here we go. We got the basically the same type of thing here. Cord free circuit tester. That one looks about the same. So this first one is 5760. Uh, this one is the same. Not real sure what the difference is between the two. Uh, but this one is $73. Uh, so inquire about that. But I have this one. This one's cheaper. I would go with this one. This one works. It works great. I have no problem with it. All right. So smart LED design has more brilliant light output and longer life than four traditional bulbs. Or than a traditional bulb. So we have an LED uh, tester here. But you don't want that. I, I wouldn't want that. I want the bulb. The bulb is going to pull the current. And the current is why you use a test light. I use a test light to see if current is flowing because voltage can be there with no current. That's when you want to use a test light. That's what test lights are important for. Now, my coworker just got one of these right here. So this is what I have right here. I have the 20, I have the 14 for uh, quick change cordless impact driver. I use this all the time. All right. So my, my coworker just got this. It's a brushless one. It's the same thing except for it's brushless. Um, Man, it sounds a lot different. It's really interesting. Uh, so the the original one is three forty eight ninety five, and the brushless one is three sixty seven. Uh, I don't know. I would probably get the brushless one. I'd have to do some research as far as th those options weren't there when when I was buying mine. But you can get up to sixty dollar trade in uh, for one. So I mean, if you, I mean, if you have one of these and it's not working, maybe maybe trade it in, but. I don't know. That's a lot of money that you're losing if you trade that. But anyways, I would go with the brushless one here if you were going to buy one. All right. It's not that much more. All right. So we got a couple screwdriver sets here. Eight piece instinct. Uh, looks like this one is an eight piece set and this one's 165. You can get it in red, green and orange. And this one's got like, it looks like a regular screwdriver set with a couple short ones. And then this one here is long screwdrivers, extra long combination. I have a set similar to this. Probably all the same lengths, um, just different handles. So this one's 20205. If you don't have any long handled um, screwdrivers, this is definitely a good set to get. It's got four, uh, four Phillips and four flat. All right, so here we go. Now this set here, I recommend this set here. If you don't have these things on this, on this pages here, you need to buy them. Um, you don't need to buy this from snap on. I personally wouldn't buy this from snap on. This is, this is a, a thread restore kit. I talk about this in a video. You can get this from just about everywhere. They all make them. They're all the same. I swear they're all the same, same colors, same case, same everything, just different names on the boxes. I wouldn't buy this from snap on, but I would definitely buy one if you don't have it. The reason you use this is you use this to re-thread a hole. If you use a tap to re-thread a hole and the beginning of the threads are messed up, you will cut different threads and you will actually destroy the regular threads. How do I know that? Because I used to tap holes. I used to re-thread holes with taps and screw them up. And then I had to heliquinone on exhaust manifolds. Yeah, I learned that the hard way. All right, here you go. These are really, really important. These are a twistable these have a twist to them, so you, when you have a, a rounded off bolt, you hammer these on, and you can remove them. They bite on the way out. Those are really good, really important. Uh, and so the the rethreading kit is one forty five. I know you can get it, probably a third of the price. Actually, I'm almost one hundred percent positive you can get it a third of the price. Now these here. That's a lot of money, 251 bucks for that set. I know you can get that a lot cheaper too. I know Irwin makes them. A lot of companies make this set right here. Uh, it's definitely a set that you want. Um, I actually have a, my, my actual, my, my one that's about a 10 millimeter is stripped out. My, my first couple that I have are stripped out and they don't work worth a darn. So I need to get a new uh, couple um, they're craftsmen and craftsmen doesn't make them anymore. Not that style. 
And so I'm going to have to buy, I'll probably buy some Irwins. Um, so here you go, tap sockets. If you don't have tap sockets and you use tap and dies, man, buy these. It's so much easier than using the T-handle. The T-handle is a pain. I've always owned these. I've never actually got my T-handle out. Uh, so now here we go. So then these tap sockets here are uh, 73 bucks. Um, you can definitely get those cheaper also. Um, I know, I think Lyle makes them too. They'd be a lot cheaper. Probably half the price. Okay, so then here you go. You got those twistable sockets, but these are impact. Um, these are $225 for a nine piece. And then you have the same set, basically just more. And these are deep. And they are 365 bucks. So, all right. So here you go. Now we're going to go on to battery testing. So all kinds of different enhanced battery testing systems. I'll tell you, I know you know my uh, my thoughts on this. I would rather use a VAT40 than all this electronic, smart, user, computerized testing. You learn, can learn so much more from an analog meter than you can from all this. The only thing these electronic testers, in my opinion, tell you that you couldn't tell from a VAT40 right off the bat is if you have a dead cell and a battery. Because it will flat out tell you dead cell. But anyway, so Enhanced Battery System Tester, this one is $485. Um, so it looks like it has a lot of features there. I wouldn't buy this based on me telling you about it, so I'm not even going to go over it. Uh, but if you're interested, Snap-on has that. Uh, so here you go, you got um, the Compact Engine Starter. Now this looks very similar to the NOCO chargers and all the different, there's a bunch of them out there that are very similar. Um, so do your do your research there, see what's worth it. Uh, 60 inch medium duty red black jumper leads. All right, there you go. 60 inches. That's a lot. That's pretty long. All right, so now here we are. Circuit tester right here. 4 to 49 volt interchangeable uh, type of uh, test lead. So basically, we got a test light with different testers uh, and, and a banana jack. So you can use um, you can use all of your different types of plugs. Uh, and that one is 155 bucks for that tester. All right, now here's a whole set of leads here. I, I wouldn't buy this whole set of leads. It's not my thing. Um, it's pretty cool, but you can get a lot of this stuff a lot cheaper. And you can get it from like AES Wave. But here we are for 200 bucks if you want Snap-on leads. Uh, so here you go. You got the 14.4 uh, Microlithium Cordless Floodlight. Now this is worth it right here. I have this. I use it all the time. This one we're at 9410 with no battery. And that uses your 14.4 batteries. Uh, so here we go. We got an automotive compression test kit. This one's actually pretty cool because this one comes with three different lead three different uh, hookups. I have my my tester is snap-on as well. Um, so I, I'm not gonna tell you not to buy a snap-on. I personally own this one. Uh, just my cords are longer for my tester. And I only have two of these. I had to buy two separate adapters uh, for the two other kinds of spark plugs that there are. So this actually doesn't even cover them all. So you still need other you still need other ones to do it. All right, so here you go. You got the master uh, fuel injection kit, six hundred bucks. I'm not even going to go there. There's a lot of fuel injection kits, but I know Snap-on is pretty good. Uh, mine is. Uh, Mine is made by not snap on forgot who makes mine, but it's weird because it's a completely different kind of hookup. So I couldn't use anything at all to hook up to it. So do your research there. There's a lot of them out there, but master fuel kit right there. That looks like it covers a lot of stuff. I mean, look at all those testers. That's a lot. The bummer is you don't even use most of them. Most of my kit, most of my stuff in my kit's brand new. It's never even been touched. It it only it doesn't have dust because fuel gets dripped on it when I put the stuff away. All right, here we go with the tire balance tire machines. Please don't buy a tire machine based on me looking at this catalog, but they have them. And then we're gonna end it off with looking at toolboxes. So toolboxes are something that I. I not going to even share my opinions on. I've talked about it. Um, so anyways, 
There's the back of the catalog. So the front of this catalog, this thing goes until March. Uh, this is a March of 21 catalog. So thanks for checking out Nuts and Bolts with Tone. I hope you enjoyed my take on this Snap-on catalog, which I found to be very good. A lot of good stuff in there and a lot of good things to tell you about to go buy somewhere else. Just my take on this. I love Snap-on. But now I like all brands. There is a lot of good tool companies out there. So take my advice and go shop around. If you have any questions about finding an alternative brand in a good quality tool, let me know. Thanks for checking out Nuts and Bolts with Tone. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell. You get notified of all of my future content, which you're going to want to check out. Also, check me out on Instagram at Nuts and Bolts with Tone. And you see my daily life as a mechanic. I share tool videos. I mean, tool pictures, tool reviews. I tell you if a tool's good, if a tool uh, made the cut, or if a tool just flat out does not do its job. So I'll see you next time.